Well, if you saw my last video detailing the extent of Boeing's rash of setbacks, including the FAA's eventual intention of grounding and repairing Boeing's 777 jets with GE-90 engines, plus that combined with Boeing 787 and MAX defect-laden aircraft, Boeing has been taking a beating lately. Well, buckle up, Buttercup, because now it looks like Airbus is going to get hit so hard that even Boeing can look on with relief, as their competition has been dealt a blow that will last for years regarding Airbus's most popular single-aisle jet. Well, shares in Pratt Whitney parent company RTX Corp hit a two-year low on Monday as it took a $3 billion hit as it told the world's airlines that operate the Airbus A320 family of jets, including its best-selling Neo, that hundreds of their Airbus jets would be grounded at any time in coming years to check for a rare manufacturing flaw. RTX dramatically expanded the scope of required engine checks at Pratt Whitney, a move that will affect nearly its entire fleet of Pratt & Whitney 1000 series engines powering Airbus's A320 family of jets. The move will ground hundreds of the single-aisle jets for months at a time. Over 3,000, yes, three with a capital 3,000, Pratt Whitney geared turbofan engines must be removed over the next three years to check for potentially flawed components made from contaminated metal powder. That represents most of the roughly 3,200 GTF engines currently in service worldwide on the jets. So that's basically every gear turbofan engine Pratt Whitney manufactured so far. The quality issue relates to a, quote, rare condition in powder metal used to manufacture engine parts, such as high-pressure turbine disks and high-pressure compressor disks, that could result in micro-cracks and fatigue. As I mentioned earlier in the Boeing video I put out the other day, I covered that topic quite a bit. I'll include a link down below. But during a production ramp up in 2015, a microscopic contaminant was introduced into the powdered metal made by RTX subsidiary HMI in Clayville, New York, which could not be detected by previous inspection methods. However, Pratt Whitney insists that at last count there have been nine changes to the metallurgic process to ensure the purity of the powder. Whitney is confident the problem is resolved. So wait a minute. If GE, Saffron, and Pratt & Whitney are all having the same metal defect, is there only one source in the world you can get the material for these engines from? If you know, let me know down below. Pratt & Whitney RTS executives told analysts that with airlines already facing lengthy waits for engine repairs, the added work will result in about 350 aircraft parked per year through 2026 on average. They said they expect the figure to peak at about 650 planes in the first half of 2024. This is obviously a difficult and disappointing situation, CEO Greg Hayes said. We're laser focused on addressing this in the most expeditious and financially sound way forward. The broad extent of the checks highlights how the engine's latest problem has deeply impacted the global fleet. The Pratt geared turbofan engine is one of two power plants offered on the top selling Airbus A320 Neo family of aircraft. The RTX Pratt Whitney unit has about a 40% share of the A320 Neo market, behind competitor CFM International. But this is yet another blow to airlines as they work to rebuild their operations since the pandemic. The engine troubles complicate efforts to increase capacity to meet steady post-pandemic lockdown demand for travel. RTX Whitney, which first disclosed the contamination flaw in late July, has seen its shares decline by more than 20% this year. RTX also cut its full-year sales outlook and says it will take a roughly $3 billion pre-tax charge in the third quarter as it addresses the flawed parts. Part of RTX's plan to resolve the issue is offering compensation to airlines for operational disruptions. RTX said pre-tax operating profit will be reduced by as much as $3.5 billion over the next several years because of the issue. Several airlines have already said the inspection requirements will weigh on their plans. Ultra-low-cost carrier Wizz Air said the inspections will reduce its capacity up to 10% in 2024. 
Of U.S. carriers, Spirit Airlines, JetBlue Airways, and Hawaiian Airlines have the largest exposure to the geared turbofan engine problem. None of the airlines responded immediately to a request for comment. Robert Stallard, an analyst with Vertical Research Partners, said the RTX charges were larger than expected. Airbus said the problem is not expected to impact 2023 deliveries or the planned production ramp-up in 2024. However, industry sources said the new checks could exacerbate a tug-of-war for engines between airplane factories and repair shops as airlines clamor for engines to be diverted from assembly lines and made available as spares to keep existing jets flying. RTX said in July that 1,200 engines must be removed and inspected during the next 12 months. The new plan is to inspect 3,000 engines through 2026 and bring the equipment in for repetitive examinations every 2,800 to 3,800 flights. That's a much shorter interval than the typical industry standard. During the shop visits, Pratt plans to replace as many high-pressure turbine discs as possible with new parts that have a full service life to avoid future inspections. In July, the company suggested that fewer than 1% of the engines it had inspected needed new discs. Now, engines will also be fitted with new compressor discs, another step that wasn't part of the plan outlined in July. RTX says the first 200 turbines will need accelerated removals by mid-September. Well, holy turbo fans, Batman, the entire industry is in the crapper. So how about that? Boeing finally caught a break. Well, sort of. At least from the aspect they are no longer suffering this misery alone. Well, that's going to wrap it up for now. Just a quick update. You know what to do. Get to work down in the comment section and let me know what you think. And if you feel like it, subscribe, like, share and ring the bell and remember leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground and i will see you next time in the air yeah this is maximus